I'm Jake, and welcome to Keep It Briefly. Today, we're going to be talking about quadrants and how they relate to source measure units, or SMUs. First, we need to talk about the difference between sourcing and syncing. When sourcing with an instrument, this means that current is flowing out of the more positive terminal. And so in our example, we have uh, the instrument sourcing three volts into a one volt battery. As you can see, current is flowing out of the high and charging the battery. With syncing, the opposite is true, and current is flowing into the more positive terminal of the instrument. We still have our instrument sourcing three volts, but this time into a five volt battery. So as you can see, current is flowing from the battery into the uh, instrument high, and so this is discharging the battery. Now we're going to take a look at some quadrant diagrams or power envelopes. This is a quadrant diagram or power envelope. It describes the capabilities of an instrument when supplying voltage or current. It's comprised of four quadrants. Quadrants one and three describe the sourcing capabilities. A unipolar power supply operates in quadrant one because it can only source positive voltage. A bipolar power supply operates in both quadrants one and three because it's able to source positive and negative voltage. An electronic load, alternatively, operates in quadrants two and four because it typically can only sync. An SMU typically operates in all four quadrants. It is able to both source and sync as well as uh, have measurement capabilities. And we're gonna go a bit more into this in a moment. When using an SMU, you're able to source, typically sync, and measure. And you're given the option of either two wire or four-wire measurement methods, four-wire giving you greater accuracy. And typically you'll be working with voltage, current, or resistance. You have two basic methods of operation when using an SMU. The first, you'll be supplying a constant source value, either voltage or current, and making periodic measurements. The second is what we call a sweep, and this follows our source delay measure cycle. In this example, you uh, will send a trigger to the instrument. There's some trigger latency before it outputs a source value. There will then be some delay time to provide some settling time before it performs a measurement and then moves on to the next operation. This covers the basics of quadrants and source measure units. If you have any further questions, please contact us at Tektronix Support. We'd be happy to help.